Hello again, welcome back. This is another bottle from my lost stash, from my cooler box in my meter cupboard, which I had forgotten about. Well, it was in the back of my mind, but I hadn't looked at it for almost a year, ten months. So rather than throwing them away, I thought I'll give them a try. So this one is best before end of May 21. So it's this is July 5th. So it's about six weeks maybe out of date. So we'll see if the uh, maybe the, the hop aromas and flavours have deteriorated slightly. But the other beers that I've had have been fine for the most part. So let's give this what well, I'll tell you what's written on the bottle first. So it's St. Austell's Brewery in Cornwall. It's a proper job, it's called. And it's Cornish IPAs, bottle conditioned. And that comes in at 5.5% ABV. So it's a proper India Pale Ale. Proper job is a strong golden ale that's powerfully hopped. So that... It's a 500ml bottle... And it's a very nice, simple label with some hops and I like that. So anyway, let's see how she pours. Wee bit of cannon smoke there. There's a castle, I think, on the, the top. Let's see. Just pour that water on my carpet. <laughs> I've just washed the glass. Well, I've just rinsed it. It was already washed. So, oh, that's like a very light amber, bronzy gold colour. Let's get a wee bit head. I forgot to give it a swivel. There's actually nothing left in the bottle, so... Right, let's have a wee look to see the colour. Oh yeah, that's a very nice... Sort of a... Golden yellowish colour. It's, I don't know, it's like a light... Orangey... It looks really nice. It's very hazy. There's no visual carbonation. Head is fingernail of interrupted foam. Let's get a wee bit swirl, release the aromas. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm getting fruity like melon or pear. That smells really nice. No much but a malt at all there. Yeah, it's like pear. Anyway, cheers my dears. Yeah. Getting more malt on the the tongue there. Slight carbonation, you're still getting that fruity pear like taste. That's really nice. Wow eh. I think I've I think I've scored with all these beers. This I can't remember where I bought it. I think it was a present. My mate Derek. Hello Derek. Deke got me a bag of bottles for my birthday last year and this is me just getting round to them now so much appreciated so let's go through the tasting sheet from craftbeer.com which I find incredibly useful I think this might be beer 79 I'm not sure yeah 79 Cause I've just done one, and that was, oh yeah, that was 78. 
So, let's have a wee look. What does it say on Untapped? Uh, it's proper jobs in Austell Brewery, IPA English, four and a half percent ABV. Is that what I say? This I thought that was a that's five per, five and a half percent. It says in the bottle. That's odd, isn't it? Uh, style guide IPA English, an award-winning modern India pale ale, packed full of citrus, pineapple, and grapefruit. Resinous flavours with a fine, crisp, bitter finish. Yeah. On cask at 4.5%, bottled and canned at 5.5%. On keg at 4.5% and exported in keg at 5.5%. That has got 73,000 check-ins with an average score of 346 I think that's a fair score. I think I might score it slightly higher than that. So we'll go by colour first, it's between what, a 6 and a 9 probably, it's a nice colour, it's like an orangey colour, it's lovely. So well, between 6 and 9, clarity is this is a haze, slight haze, colour of foam, head retention is poor, interrupted, the foam texture is thin, interrupted. I mean. Carbonation, visual carbonation. Uh, there is some slow rising bubbles there. The aroma, alcohol. You're not getting. There is, there is some. You can tell it's a beer. It's mild. The hops. I'm getting that citrusy. I'm getting a wee bit. It's fruity. There's a wee bit of piney, resinous sort of a very slight the malt I'm not getting much on the aroma not really maybe maybe a bit of bready white bready the esters it's pear I'm getting uh, the phenol there might be a bit of vanilla there uh, flavour and aftertaste alcohol's mild the hot flavour is citrus fruity uh, the hot bitterness is fairly restrained. The malt flavour is not a great deal. Um, bready. The malt sweetness is low. Palate astringency low. Body is quite drying. Palate carbonation is low. The length is medium, up to 60 seconds. Oxidative aged, qu aged qualities. I'm not getting any of that there at all. It's got it's got almond, blackcurrant, papery, cardboard, honey, metallic, sherry, sweat, socks. There's none of that. So balance and drinkability desirable. Style is appropriate. Would I buy that again? I would definitely. I'd like to taste it fresh. Uh, would I drink more than one at five and a half percent? Yes, I would. I'd have to be careful though. I'm an old man now. Uh, n score it with ten. I'm going to give that a 7.8. No, a 7.9. I've just upped it. Out of ten. So that is a really nice beer. I'm surprised at that. I've never heard it before. A bottle conditioned, proper job, Cornish IPA, beautiful part of the world, Cornwall. Yes, pear drops, maybe that's with the, the ageing, I don't know, but it's very nice, it smells really nice. You do get that fruitiness on the palate as well, and then at the back you're getting this bitterness there, there's quite a bit of bitterness, and then you're getting that the pear drops, not so much malt, but that is, that is very pleasant indeed. So, <laughs> really nice. Anyway, thanks for watching, it's much appreciated. And my new subscribers, really appreciated. I'm steadily climbing up there. 
so I'll see you next time hopefully or hopefully ta-ta for now cheers my dears oh yeah oh that's nice